Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a 100 plus gameplay on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This one is actually very good. This is like 124 to 8 or something like that on Uplink, which is absolutely outstanding. Yesterday I uploaded my video talking about the best killstreaks in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and this one will sort of show you guys in action. Like I said, the Wraith, the Hater, as well as the Raps are pretty much the best combo for getting 100 plus gameplays. As you guys can see in this gameplay, it's like 10 minutes long and I'm able to get 124 kills, which is just absolutely crazy. So it's been a while since I've uploaded just one of these. I've been doing a lot of, you know, live commentaries and live ones from my stream of 100 plus gameplays, but this is just a straight up 100 plus where I'm going to be talking to you guys about some things, and uh, I did a lot of these videos back at the start of Black Ops 3, and people seem to love them, so if you guys could drop some likes on this thing, um, you know, whenever it's a 10 minute video, I usually end up le uh, asking for likes, you know, in the first few minutes. I hope that's cool with you guys. If you don't want to like it, you, you don't have to completely. It's I'm not going to be mad at you. I ain't mad at you, but if you could le like it, I would appreciate that, and what we're going to talk about in this video is basically a bit about Call of Duty games in the past, what makes a Call of Duty game good, and what I want to see from the next Call of Duty. Now, I think I'm going to do specific ones of Modern Warfare 4 or Call of Duty Ghost 2 because, as we know, we don't have a title for the next Call of Duty. We really know nothing about it. Now, I'll talk a bit about all the rumors that have been going around about Call of Duty for the next year, 2016, and uh, we'll go over them. So, there is a few things saying it's going to be Call of Duty Bloodlines, a few people saying it's going to be Space Warfare, and then obviously Modern Warfare 4 or Ghost two are still up on the table. Now, a lot of people thought these weren't up on the table because they said, you know, Black Ops or Call of Duty 2016 is going to be an innovative title, but really, they say that every year. What they mean is they don't mean the actual title of the game is going to be new. What they mean more is like the title as in the game is going to be new. They're going to have a new movement system. They're going to have something like that. So, this is what I think is safe to say that we can expect from the next Call of Duty. Now, the next Call of Duty we all know is going to be Infinity War. This has been confirmed already. I mean, everyone already knew it and it was confirmed infinity ward will be making the next call of duty if you guys don't know how the call of duty cycle works right now is it's on a three-year cycle so we have you know this year we had 2015 we had treyarch then 2016 is going to be infinity ward 2017 sledgehammer 2018 treyarch and then infinity ward sledgehammer you know it goes on like that in the cycle for now until that changes it used to just be the two-year cycle with uh, treyarch and infinity ward and then sledgehammer came out with aw which aw wasn't i don't think the biggest failure of a game i think it was sort of um, um, you know, it was after Call of Duty Ghost, so it probably, you know, it made more money than Call of Duty Ghost, that's for sure, because of all their supply drops and stuff like that, and I think even in actual sales, because Advanced Warfare actually sounds like a pretty good title, I'm not gonna lie, like, that that's a pretty good title, I was hyped up, and that game was decent, but yeah, obviously, the Modern Warfare's and the Black Ops series have been the ones that have been carrying Call of Duty for a long time, so, let's talk about what we can expect from this next Call of Duty, so it's from Infinity War, now, what is Infinity War known for? They're known for Ghost... Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty 4, those are basically the titles that they're biggest known for in the modern days. Obviously, modern days, modern warfare. So basically, what we, it can be safe to assume, in my opinion, is that there's going to be a nuke or a Moab or a chem strike of some sort. In all of their games, MW or since call uh, since MW2, MW2 had the nuke, which actually the nuke ended the game, it was a game ending kill streaks. Then they had MW3, which had the Moab, then they had Call of Duty Ghost, which had the Chem Strike, and then uh, Sledgehammer even put the DNA bomb. But I'm gonna say from Infinity Ward games, it's pretty much you know confirmed. I'd say 80 to 90 percent we're going to have some sort of a nuke, Moab, Chem Strike, something like that in the games. If you guys don't know, Treyarch has never really had one of those they've always just had the nuclear metal which is not near as exciting as a chem strike or a moab or a chem, uh, uh, nuke or something like that that actually explodes in the game gets you kills and it's a lot cooler than just having the nuclear metal pop up on your screen and that's what infinity ward's been known for so i think that's definitely going to happen now as far as the movement system a lot of people want boots back on the ground i really don't think that's going to happen if we think about infinity ward you know they've always been wants to innovate the the titles and stuff like that and Call of Duty Ghost had their slide in which was already innovative to the movement system and I really think that after these advanced movement games advanced warfare and black ops 3 it's going to be hard to go back to boots on the ground and I don't think they're going to do that I think this game is going to have some sort of advanced movement system now these are things that I think I'm not saying that I would like this or that I would like boots on the ground or anything like that but what I would like because I, I can pretty much assume there's going to be an advanced movement system what I would like from that movement system is going to be 
I want a movement system similar to Black Ops 3 without the wall running. I think the boost jumping, the boost sliding is completely cool. I think when it gets to wall running or super power jumping like Advanced Warfare where you're jumping super duper high up 20 stories, I think that can be get a bit ridiculous. I think Black Ops 3 did the jumping with the boost jumping and everything like that, right? And I hope that it's something like that in this next Call of Duty. Now, as far as a name, the name that I would like to see most likely is going to be Modern Warfare 4. I don't think that's, I think that from the info that we're getting so far it's leaning towards ghost 2 i mean that just makes sense on the storyline it doesn't really make sense though from a business perspective because Call of Duty Ghost was one of the most unsuccessful Call of Duty games in modern history and it makes more sense that after the success of Black Ops 3, you know, Black Ops 3 is a very successful game. It's like the definitely the most successful since um since Black Ops 2. Yeah, since Black Ops 2 this is definitely the most successful game. So, the, with the success of this, it would make sense for Infinity War to see Black Ops 3 do so well and to come out with their next title being Modern Warfare 4 because Modern Warfare and Black Ops are the most loved series in Call of Duty. I think that's pretty Pretty much undeniable those two are pretty much the most loved um everyone has a different opinion on those let me know in the comment section down below which one do you guys love more the black ops series or the modern warfare i think it's just more on the one that you started with i started on call of duty 4 modern warfare 2 so modern warfare series is probably you know a bit more personal i love that one a bit more but then obviously black ops 1 and you know black ops 2 and black ops 3 all great games so i love both of them and then there's people that just buy the black ops series for the zombies edition which um I'm sure we'll see some sort of zombies, something like that, some extra game mode, spec up, something like that in this next Call of Duty title as well. But I think it's safe to say that this next game, it would be a smart bit to put on Modern Warfare 4. However, we don't know how long these guys have been developing the title. You know, it's a three-year cycle. They might have, as soon as Call of Duty Ghost came out, been already working on Call of Duty Ghost 2 because that's how it goes with the campaign mission. If you guys don't know, Call of Duty Ghost, basically the campaign was left on, uh, basically leading you to believe that there will be a next game of Call of Duty Ghost 2. Now, this doesn't mean that they could, this is what I think would be a good move for them on the other side, is that they could make the game a completely new title, however, continuing the Ghost storyline. You know, the title of the game is, isn't that important when it comes to the gameplay, but it is hugely important when it comes to the audience and the community because there's already people complaining. You know, if they come out and they announce Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer trailer, a lot of people are going to dislike that video. A lot of people are going to hate, say, oh my god, Call of Duty Ghost, kill me now. This this trailer gave me, you know, diseases all out the wazoo. People are going to be hating on the trailer. And if they come out with Modern Warfare 4, obviously there are going to be some haters, but there's going to be a lot more success, I think, in that. But I think we're either going to see Ghost 2 or a new title. Those would be my bets. Um, obviously, Modern Warfare 4. I would honestly love that, and we're going to be getting the title here within the next few months, which is pretty exciting, you know, the title means a lot, it, it does mean a lot, you know, a lot of people read the book by its cover, and a lot of these casual Call of Duty fans who hopped onto Black Ops 3 because of the Black Ops title won't be hopping onto Ghost 2, or they won't even bother buying it, they'll just stick to Black Ops 3 for another year. If you guys think about it, Black Ops 2, people still play that up until Black Ops 3, people still play Black Ops 2 to this day. It's a very good Call of Duty game all around, Black Ops 2 is a strong Call of Duty game, I'd say MW3 is too. And people stuck with those games. I was still uploading those games during Advanced Warfare, during Call of Duty Ghost, because people didn't really have the hype train around Call of Duty Ghost that they did for those other games. And those games definitely had the longevity. I think Black Ops 3 has that longevity in it as well. And that's why I think that if this next Call of Duty game is bad, people will just keep playing Black Ops 3. The casual Call of Duty player really won't care that much. You know, it's not like the people that, you know, probably most of the people watching this video, me, myself, a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers and people that play the game a lot lot we get bored of a game after a few months or after a year you know not bored of it but we're ready for the next one because we play the game every day for hours people that only play on the weekends they're still you know they probably don't even know some of the maps on black ops 3 they're still learning the game they haven't tested out every gun yet because a lot of these casual call of duty players are maybe people that have full-time jobs or something like that only have time to play on the weekends they're not really exposed to the game like we are as you guys can see here i'm going absolutely ham in the spawn systems sorry to interrupt the commentary for a second but i was going off here i just bro broke the 100 plus and i actually got 124 kills in this game which was one of my highest so i really appreciate it if you guys could drop some support on this thing i hope you guys did like this i think that call of duty 2016 is a really interesting title and really something that we can talk a lot about i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what do you guys want to see uh, as the title you know i think that some options we have are bloodlines 
um, Space Warfare, someone around those lines. I don't think Space Warfare would be the best name. Um, or Black Ops, or not Black Ops, Modern Warfare 4 or Ghost 2. You know, it, a lot is up for debate here. And it's something that's a really hot topic and really something interesting to talk about. I think I'm going to do some other videos covering what I'd really want from Ghost 2 or what I'd really want from MW4. But I really do appreciate the support and you guys always watching this. I think this gameplay is probably one of my best on Black Ops 3, to be honest. I think my most kill game, actually, my, my most kill game I still have to upload. It's for my live stream. I had like 132 kills. And then the enemies ended up dashboarding on me. And the game disconnected that would have been like 140 or 150 kill gameplay but as you guys can see here it's absolutely carnage clan what i'm doing to these guys in the spawn i'm just destroying them and this is 120 plus kill gameplay so i'd appreciate all you guys dropping some likes on this thing supporting this thing and if you guys did make it to the end of the video comment 2016 down in the comment section down below and uh, let's get that hype train going i'm pretty hyped for cod 2016 I'm hoping it's not going to be Ghost 2, but I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. And I suggest you guys all do that too. If it's Ghost 2, don't, you know, wait for the gameplay. Wait to actually play the game. Don't judge it by its cover because just because the title sounds bad doesn't mean the game could be bad. And a lot of people love COD Ghost. And I think Ghost 2, COD Ghost, if they had good maps, Ghost 2 could be a very good game. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for Cookie and Don't Looky. And I'm out. Peace. Late night.